Hello folks all over the world, no matter where you are or who you are with, the time for fear has arrived. The video you just saw, was posted by a Reddit forum user, stating, My mom is in Mexico right now, and one of our family friends said they saw La Lorna while on his pilgrimage. He sent me this. It's really hard to believe in a very grainy video of a woman dressed in a white tunic, walking and screaming in the street, especially if you claim to be the most famous Mexican folkloric phenomenon in the world, namely, La Lorna. Anyway, this is what is circulating on the internet, let's deal with our ranking instead. Oh, I forgot, if you like the content, follow us on this YouTube channel and stay updated on our videos. And now let's get comfortable, so we can start. Unexplained Phenomena In the small town of Torrance, California, USA, lives Sydney, a woman with her children and her sister, who takes care of her boys when Sydney goes to work. In June 2021, Sydney opens a TikTok channel entitled Salt and Sage, where she shows beauty treatments for the face and body, and scenes of family life, especially with children. On January 15, 2023, however, while her sister filmed little Liam, while he watched TV, she captured something truly disturbing on video, that terrifies both. SpongeBob night! Liam, come here. Liam, c right now. What is happening? Okay, I'm calling your mom. Just stay right here. The video seen by over 6 million people has aroused various controversies because someone claims that there could be a person hidden under the table, moving the rocking chair. Cindy explains that the house, built back in 1924, has always presented strange but harmless phenomena, to which we had not been given any importance, and that the table in question could not contain any people underneath as shown by the video images. In those days of January 2023, the security cameras installed to monitor the children also recorded noises during the night, coming from the kitchen. The woman explains that this kind of phenomena frightens them, but they cannot leave the house for economic reasons, furthermore no one has ever been hurt beyond fear. In the various comments received, someone advises the woman to have the house blessed, but Sydney explains that this ritual takes place periodically, however the phenomena still occur after some time. He's still driving his car. Recently a very strange video from North Carolina, is shooting on the net. Omar is a Mexican-born owner of a salvage car for sale shop. In 2020 he opened a channel on TikTok to publish some family life scenes, some parties, and some work moments, where bizarre and beautiful used cars coming to his shop. In the first days of January 2023, Omar publishes a video in which he tells the sad story of a Mercedes, riddled with gunshots, and the tragic death of its owner, when something, truly, disturbing happens behind him. A este Mercedes lo balasearon, lo balasearon y el, el señor o oh, muchacho no sé qué haya sido, le dieron un balazo aquí, luego aquí le dieron otro, lo atravesó, luego aquí otros, otros tres, no, este, este como que sí, este sí lo, ya el carro ya está, Ya está, ya se deterioró porque está viejito, pero la historia de este joven o señor murió. Yo creo por eso aquí está encantado el lugar. Como ven, miren, aquí, aquí, aquí estoy solo. Aquí estoy solo viendo los carros. Ah, caro, me ruido. ¿Qué pedo, qué? Ah, 
As Omar walked away from the Mercedes, the parked Audi, Q5, without a wheel, it starts moving towards him by itself. The video, seen by over four and a half million people, has brought about various controversies. There are those who comment that the car is hybrid, so for a few stretches, it moves by electric motor. But Omar, in another video showed details about that Audi to prove that it is a fuel car, without an electric or hybrid motor. He also explained that he did not want this car, but that he took it for spare parts, since it has large red crosses indicating the intention to totally scrap it. When he asked whose car it was, they explained that it belonged to a doctor, who engaged in a shootout inside his speeding car, in fact three bullet holes are visible on the roof. In another video, while Omar is responding to comments about this car, something happens that terrifies his colleagues. To avoid accidents on people and things, Omar and his colleagues decide to tie up the car, locking it in place, so that it can be dismantled, without risking their lives. We don't know what's behind this story. The frames reported by some followers in the various videos posted by Omar, are certainly very impressive, and after these, without a doubt, that car must be demolished. Who is asking for information? And now pay attention because the video we are about to show, is really creepy. We are in a shopping center in Houston, Texas, USA. A security guard is stopped by a woman, who starts asking him for information, but the guard's colleague who monitors mall security cameras, realizes that something is wrong. These incredible images, portray a security guard talking to a woman, already known in the center, but deceased two years ago. It's not the first time we've seen this type of phenomenon, and this is another testimony that proves, that the security guards involved in this kind of conversation, are actually sane and have no mental disturbances of any kind, since this woman was not known to the guard, who spoke to her. Arab videos on the paranormal are always the subject of debate, because many of them show such an excessive number of paranormal phenomena as to hypothesize that the scam is around the corner. Some of these even go so far as to exploit audio samples, such as the video posted by the user Mental Holiday 1484 entitled, If This Video Is An Elaborate Hoax, Then The Editor Did A Really Good Job. Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Surely this is an elaborate hoax, since the laughter of the child running around the room is the same one we heard in the our previous episode, do you remember? Well, what do you think? Friends, even for today we have come to an end, I hope you enjoyed the episode, we will see you in the next video, stay tuned on our social networks and on our YouTube channel, leave a comment which is always appreciated. Thanks for watching and good night.